Today's assignment is going to count as a makeup grade for quarter three. It will cover two important topics that we've discussed previously in other lessons. Okay, I will use this grade for whatever assignment you might be missing or some extra credit as needed. The first concept in this assignment is the order of operations. Order of operations provides a way for us to solve and evaluate a problem following the same steps that anybody else would be doing. Okay, so we choose to work with the most powerful of our operations first and go down the pyramid from there. In this first example, we have division, addition, and multiplication. Okay, I'm going to eliminate the addition as my first step because it is not as powerful as dividing or multiplying. So then I'm deciding between should I divide first or should I multiply first? Because the division is first in the problem, I'm going to do this division step first. So I would divide 54 by 6, which would give me 9. As I work through these problems, I'm going to do one step at a time and then rewrite the other steps as I go. Now I'm down to adding and multiplying. Multiplying is a more powerful operation, so I'm going to do this step next. 2 times 7 would be 14. And I continue working my way through the problem until I have no more operations left. Last thing to do here is to add 9 plus 14 is 23. In my next example, I'm going to add in a few other concepts. So I see parentheses, I see an exponent, multiplying, and addition. Parentheses will always get done first. It's a way to bracket off the first thing that we are going to evaluate. So I'm going to do the 9 minus 5 inside here first, which will give me 4. And this is being raised to the third power. Again, as I work my way through the problem, I like to do one step at a time and rewrite as I go. Next, I'm going to evaluate my exponent because exponents are more powerful than multiplication or addition. Okay. To evaluate this exponent, I'm going to use my side space. And I'm going to do 4 to the third power, which is 4 times 4 times 4. 4 times 4 would be 16, and then 16 times 4 would be 64. Again, as I work through it, I'm going to rewrite the other steps. Now I'm left with multiplication and addition. And again, multiplication is more powerful, so I'm going to do this step first. For today's assignment, you can use a calculator. So I will do 64 times 8 first, which is 512. My last step will be then to add. The one thing with order of operations to keep in mind is we have two sets of operations that are equally as powerful. So we have adding and subtracting and we have multiplying and dividing. Okay, so those steps are done together. And when we have both of them, we're going to start on the left side of the equation and work right. The second part of today's assignment is on evaluating in expressions. When I evaluate here, I'm going to be given a number to replace my variable with. We call this substitution. So in the first one here, I'm going to replace m with 52. Okay, and again, with these, with one step here, I'm just going to go ahead and add those two together. 52 plus 19 will give me 71. Again, understanding that the word evaluate in a problem like this is tell me what that is equal to. The last, is, the last example here, I'm going to show you what a two-step substitution problem looks like. This is going to have two steps because my variable g has a coefficient. 
So when I replace g in this problem with 12, I need to remember that 8, its coefficient, is really just multiplying. So this does not become 812, it's really 8 times 12. So I do that multiplication step first, and then I will subtra subtract to get to my final answer here of 91. As you're working today, you have this PowerPoint to complete. Okay, if you finish early at the end of the assignment, you're going to see a list of the major assignments for quarter three. Please look on the grades tab in Teams to make sure that you have completed those assignments and that you are happy with the grades that you got on them. If you have extra time, please use any more of your time to do any other makeup work as needed. If you have questions or concerns, please email me. Have a great weekend, everybody.